This is the Johnny's Pizza House Friday Night Blitz brought to you by Car Giant Auto Group. Welcome back, everybody. Bozier has put up as many points as anyone has this year, but Loyola had something to say about it tonight. Let's head to Mesmer Stadium. The Bearcats battling the Flyers. Big district battle here. Carlos Butler dropping this one off to Jalen Thornton. Nice catch before being tackled out of bounds. Then Jacob Lafitte finding Trey Taylor. Taylor inside the five, brought down violently. And then Flyers on offense again. This is Van Van Norman. That's his real name. Makes a man miss before being brought down. Loyola having a great season under Mike Green. They hold Bozier to only 16 tonight. Huge win for the Flyers, 28 to 16. Let's take a look at some more scores now. Plain Dealing taking on Glenbrook. The Apaches continue their impressive first season in the LHSAA, 42 to 8. And Dangerfield feeling dangerous, 46 to nothing over Redwater. Over to Texas we go. Wascom taking on Queen City tonight. Let's Great pick helmet things. matchup. You got to love it. Pick things up in the second quarter. Cole Watson, he's good at football. Watson for Wascom. Going to find his man in the back of the end zone. You can't give Watson that much time. You just can't. You just the can't first do rule. it. First rule play, Watson for 28 Wasson. to nothing, Wildcats. But they're not done. Tayshawn Hamilton dragging defender. Someone tackle him. They will. Don't worry. Eventually, it happens. Later in the drive, Hamilton gets to finish the, uh, the job here. Wascom up 35 to nothing. And again, this Wascom team just as, as hot as any team in Texas right now. They win 77. I asked earlier, I think that's the most points any team in our area has put up this year. I know Avoyles had 85, but they're not technically no, in, our no, they're not in our viewing area. I think 77 is the most we've had this year. A lot of points. Camden Fairview over in Arkansas taking down to Queen tonight, 63 to three and then Lakeside over Hope the Rams 43 Bobcats. How do you think you, how do you think you decide on kicking a field goal in that game? I, I want to believe it. I want to <laughs> believe it happened early. I, I hope it happened they were early. Up three to I would love if it was 56 nothing. They said we got to get some points. All right, let's uh, let's get some more highlights now. This is DeKalb and Paul Pewitt. Winky Williams. Oh, love Winky Williams. Nice run there for the Bears. And why not keep feeding Winky? Well, that, I don't know if that's not a positive play there for Winky. Winky went oh. backwards. Well, they tried it. And then DeKalb still on offense. They're, they, they, they like running the football. You can't blame them. They run it well. Paul Pewitt all over it. I'm excited to see what the final is. Wow, Paul Pewitt. Paul Pewitt started the season 0-4. They've won three in a row. And DeKalb, they started the season really strong. They got to win over New Boston in week two. I don't know what to think of Paul Pewitt. I don't know if this is more indicative of what Paul Pewitt is or what DeKalb is. Nonetheless, Paul Pewitt, huge win for the Brahmas, 36-21. Paul Morris. Pewitt. Paul Pewitt has befuddled John Sartori. He has. There's a, yeah. All right. Before we go to black, there we go. Morris scores. Magnolia, 45 nothing over the Hot Springs Trojans and Broken Bow. They continue their strong season. I think they've only lost one game this year. 44 nothing over the McLean Titans. Let's go to Texas. Why this is not? an intriguing one. White Oak coming to town hoping to end Sabine's undefeated district record. Cardinals have the ball. It's Jace Burns going to keep it himself. Burns getting a few key blocks. Burns, he's in for the score. It's 7-0 Sabine. There's the proof. Next Sabine possession. Actually, next possession here, Sabine on defense. They get some pressure here from the... No, no, you had it. No, you, I was right. I was right. right. You had it. Today. Holden Rogers interception the interception there. Impressive stuff. You love to Jason see it. Siegel. White Oaks on offense now. Casey Siegley finds Dalton Morgan in the end zone for the touchdown. Catch with contact. That's that's some special stuff there. It sure is. And then second quarter, it's Sabine. There he goes. Jace Burns into your living room. Burns in for the score. 14 to 7, Sabine at this point. Brent Burns, he's not done yet. Nope, this is a hey. long highlight. Burns, two rushing touchdowns, showing off the arm now. Cooper McNasty. Oh, hit him right in the Cooper feet. Cooper McNasty, he's in for the score. Final score in this one, Sabine. Putting up some points tonight. Yep. I believe. 42-14. 42-14, nice. So, North Caddo Ringgold. It's North Caddo's homecoming. Ringgold doesn't show up. Yes, as our good friend Jerry Bird said, uh, they did, their, their, their date didn't show up to homecoming. Eh, that's tough, man. Uh, we've all been there. That happened to me seven times. So, it's seven homecomings.
Yeah. I didn't actually go Who to Who asked you to homecoming in the sixth grade? <sighs> 39 to 6 <laughs> North Webster over Lakeside tonight. Those two teams actually got to play. Good. Yeah, good for them. Good for the kids. It's all about the kids. It's about the kids. The kids on Lakeside and uh, who, who, North Webster got to play a football game yep. tonight. Good for them. Arcadia and Haynesville. This game happened. Hornets looking to throw. This one broken up by, uh, by a golden tornado. And then look at this, Wesley. Oh! Yeah, not good. That was indicative of what Pinball. happened tonight. But check this out. We've, we do have some offense. Haynesville, Jacarius Turner. Kicks the screen pass. Whoop! Dang it, it <laughs> he, his, his contact knocked the defender's helmet off. You love to see That's it. That's hard to do. Haynesville bounces back from their loss last week to Glenbrook. They get the big win over Arcadia tonight, 53-14. to All right, let's take a look at some more scores. Center and Shepard did not happen. It, it, it's not final. Not final. Yeah. So you can just guess what the score is. 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, at that point, Tatum having a little more trouble with Atlanta than I would have thought. Tatum a top 10 team against a winless Atlanta team. But the win is all that matters. 30-20. to 20. Tatum flying over the Rams. All right. After the break, Texas, the Tigers. They have not lost a regular season game in over two years. Pine Tree looking to change that. Those highlights are excellent.